Hi guys, it's Trevor Cutmore. It's time to go and see the six houses that I built in my company, MTC Properties. Get ready for a great journey. First of all, we've got to strap in and then we're going to go. I'm going to show you them right now. Here we go. Hi, my name is Trevor Cutmore. Welcome. We have now finished these properties. Now, many of you have actually been here a few times and seen these properties in different stages. When we put the foundations in, when we had the bases and the timber framed houses, remember the brick skin on the outside, and you've seen it grow. Now, I will do an offer if people want to come down. It is a difficult time, but if you'd like to come down, I'll show you it finished. But even better, we're going to take you through and show you inside every little piece. They look fantastic. It's everything I wanted. The quality is great. And I think these are going to fly off the shelf very, very quickly. So come inside and I hope you enjoy this. So as you can see, look, it's really good quality. We've got Bosch all for the appliances so we haven't gone cheap and tacky and everything the only thing i have gone a little bit cheaper is i put my own washing machines in because if i'm going to rent them i didn't want people putting their own types of things in so if we're selling if they want to keep those they can have them if they don't i'll pull them out and i can use them elsewhere this is all built in as well we've got built-in fridge built-in freezer as well and okay that's indeset and here we've got a nice interset dishwasher. Not that I know how to use it, but it's here, all right? So it's a well-equipped one. Now these are the front houses. These kitchens come with a bay window. So although the houses aren't bigger per se, it has a nice perception that this is a slightly bigger kitchen than what we're gonna see. Now, if you turn this way, downstairs, very important, toilet very important place but it's nice it's spacious you're not sort of in there like that so very nice and i'm going to show you one of my favorite things in the whole house if you come through here i'm sure as you can see here these locks i found from a friend of mine and as you can see the latch part is absolutely flush you can't see anything. So you know when you close the door, you get that clonk. Sometimes you rip your clothes on it. With this one, when I close it, it's a magnet. And what that's done, so now this won't open, and as I turn it, there's a magnet that catches the latch and it keeps it flush. So close, nice. Very clever stuff. Now they cost just over double to what a normal latch costs, but with a little bit of quality, it makes all the difference. I'm going to take you here. I'm going to take you outside the back. Come on. Yeah. Hi, so one of the other features of these properties, not just of the energy efficiency and everything there, I'll go through that later, but the keys, front and back doors, they're both high security Yale locks and keys. It's very important. It actually gives you a better rating for your insurance as well. And it gives people added benefit of knowing it's secure and safe to live. So if we just come out here, here we go. So each house comes with their own little plot here. And so look, what would you do if you lived here? I would probably put a nice table and chairs here. I might deck it out, I don't know. But this is somewhere where I can just sit and relax. Yes, you can see the neighbors. You don't want the, this any higher because you're gonna lose the light. It's a lovely little sunspot here. Obviously I'm not gonna be sunbathing here in my uh, trunks that's not a sight for anyone anyway guys but it is nice and 
I think what it lends itself to is building community. And I think that's in today's world, I think that's really, really important because you're gonna see your neighbors, you can communicate, think it'd be nice. And if you like your pot plants and things, you can make this really nice, maybe a little barbecue and away you go. Outside lighting on the back of the houses and the front. So it gives a real soft feel and a warm feel to this little sun haven. So here's the bathroom. Again, I've looked at it, I've designed it, I've chosen everything, the tiles. I wanted these wavy tiles because as the light hits them, it gives that little sort of shimmering effect. And I just wanted them to, to you know, have that, that feel in here. There is a, a stand-up shower here as well, so you can get in the bath, you can use the shower, or you can still have that bath. So either way, good sink, under cupboard, and Ooh, you get the light. So obviously you can shave, not for sorting spots out, all right? So that's the bathroom, and we're gonna go on into the bedroom. Come in. So this is bedroom number two, as you can see. It's not the biggest, but it's absolutely comfortable. And the good thing about this is maximizing space. If you wanna come in and turn around, I'm gonna show you something. So look, first of all, you can see the staircase, it comes up. When the staircase comes up, it steals part of this room. And what happens, because of the headspace, you have a piece of the room which comes like that. So it means that you know you've got a slanty bit, and I'm sure you've viewed many properties and you see that, and I actually have a pet hate about it. So there are two things you can do. You can either build it all the way across, and then you have like a box bed, which I don't like personally, I didn't want to do that. But what I did is that we squared it off and we got a, had a cupboard built. So as you can see, solid there, up there there's a nice shelf and there's a rail. So now it's got a built-in wardrobe. Very, very good, very handy. And for single room it's enough. So in here, bedside table, chest of drawers, and maybe a desk up here to do some work. Nice. Into the next okay so into the main bedroom so this is wider and as you can see you've got the sockets here so we can get a bed in here there will be a wardrobe behind the door as well there's space there so this would be a comfortable uh, two bed room uh, very nice well lit by the windows trickle vents on there and this is quite solidly made remember these lovely doors they're solid, they're not those cheap ones of 20 pounds, which, you know, you make a little noise and you can hear it down the road. So it's gonna be a nice place to live. These will rent very, very well. The hospital is only across the road. So let's have a look outside. So listen, a really good thing. These front three houses here all get their off street parking. It's quite wide, so plenty of space there, but they all three houses get outside car electric car charging points this is something that was stipulated in the planning application that they had to have it the three houses at the back have three a bay each here there's three more bays here but there's no charging points and the access to the houses is just down here so i'm going to take you there to have a look Come in. So again, straight into the kitchen. As you can see, this isn't a bay fronted window. I showed you the, the utilities, the fridge, freeze, and all of that. This has all got the same. But one thing I didn't show you, and I thought be of interest, all because of accessibility, and this is down to planning. I personally don't think it's the best idea of design because you want to use your cupboard for tins and things like this. But this is the fuse board for the house, but it's very accessible. So if you're gonna use this cupboard, you've got to think if I need to reset something or someone's gonna do some work and checks, then you need to get access. But it's inside, it's safe. I did want to have it somewhere else, but we had to have it there. Okay, interesting fact for you, there is no boiler in this kitchen or the kitchens in that house, why? Well, because I knew the houses aren't 
you know, really big. I wanted to save space. And so we took the decision and we put the boilers, the gas boilers upstairs in the loft. So they're all uh, sited with fire, right up to date with fire regulations. There's fire retarding uh, things all around it to make sure and fire alarms throughout the house for protection for the people living here. But it means that we've saved an awful lot of space. Now they still have to be checked every year for safe regulations for certification, but it gives you more space down here. So when you're designing a house, it can be great to get things out of the way to give you more space. So look, with these back houses, what I really like is this space. So remember, the front houses have a small bay of the kitchen. They also have their cars in front and they have electric charging points. These houses at the back, they don't have the bay kitchen window, but they have parking spaces, off-road parking, private parking to the side, no electric charging. They both got those garden areas in between the houses exactly the same size. But what this has, which the front houses don't have, is just this little courtyard here. And if I was living here, I'd have my little barbecue, I'll have my table here, and when I come home from work, it'd be a gin and tonic, something to eat, and I'd just pass the day. And look where the sun is, and it's beautiful. It's a stunning little place, and I really like this. And uh, this is where I would relax every day. This would be my place. It would be come home, that's it. No need for TV, come here, sit, read a book, learn, improve your mind, change your world. And just like building houses, that's it, finished.